have warm beds. What do you need, my friend? You look like someone who can hold their liquor. How about a friendly contest to win a staff? Ha! We'll see about that. This is a special brew. Very strong stuff. Let's get started. I'll start round one. Down the hatch. Your turn. One down, my friend. One down. And another one for me. Yes. And how about you? So says you. I think I've hit my limit on these things. Tell you what, one more and you win the contest. Wow. You've really done it. The staff is yours. You know, you're a fun person to drink with. I know this great little place where the wine flows like water. We should head there. Hey, you don't look so good. Wake up. That's right. It's time to wake up, you drunken blasphemer. I see. So, you don't remember fondling the statuary, then? I'm guessing you also don't remember coming in here and blathering incoherently about marriage or a goat. Which means you don't remember losing your temper and throwing trash all over the temple. Well, you were deep in your cups when you got here. You were ranting, but most of it was slurred. You said something about Rorikstead. a lot of nerve showing yourself in this town again. What do you have to say for yourself? Sorry's not good enough. Not while my Gled is still out there alone and afraid. You kidnapped her and sold her to that giant. You're damn right it does. I'll never breed another prize-winning goat like Gleda. And don't you think of coming back to Rorikstead until you get her back from that giant. You mentioned something like that, when you were running off with my goat. Tell you what, you bring back my goat, and maybe I'll give a damn about it. Stop.
Nay, you talked to Raldith yet? She's like a mother to me. You here from the city? I visit White Run from time to time, mostly to make deals. Did you? We are honest, hard-working folk here, and we don't suffer beggars or thieves. In White Run, mostly, Ennis handles the business arrangements, but I know that he has a few purchasers who give us a fair price. Ennis prides himself on his shrewd business schemes. For my part, I'm far happier working with cattle and crops than with people. Mm -hmm. Raldith is the hardest working farmer in Rorikstead, but I'm the... Gladder! I'm not a scratch on her! Happy day! I still can't figure out why you stole her. You left a note explaining it, but half of it was gibberish and the rest had mead spilled on it. Only bit I could make out was repaying Isolde in Whiterun, and even that's mostly scribbles. Guess you could try there. All right, then. You cannot escape the truth! You cannot escape the truth, Dragonborn! When you're... You're finally back. Look, I've been patient, but you still owe me. It's not about the money, really. I wouldn't have given you the wedding ring on credit if you weren't so obviously in love. But if there isn't going to be a wedding, the least you can do is give the ring back. That was one of my best pieces. You went right out to give it to your fiancé. Don't you even remember where you left her? And after you told me that sweet story of how you met in Witchmist Grove, I can see why she left you. You must have had a wild night if you can't remember that. But I suppose everyone gets the jitters before their wedding. And I did say you could take a bit of time paying me back. You said the ceremony was going to be at Morvenskar. Don't forget you still owe me. Farewell.
all day and night. What do I do? Ah, you I work, work the forge. Why do they need me to do this? We use magic, not weapons. I swear, they're making me do this for a laugh. I guess I was just doing <sighs> things.
You're here. I was beginning to think you might not make it. You're here. I was beginning to think you might not make it. I thought you might not remember your first trip here. You had a big night. I think you've definitely earned the staff. Oh, the Hagraven feather and so on. You can throw all those out. You see... I really just needed something to encourage you to go out into the world and spread merriment. And you did just that. I haven't been so entertained in at least a hundred years. I am Sanguine, Daedric Prince of Debauchery. I know, I know. How could I lie to you? Well, how could I trust you until we've shared a few drinks? But it wasn't long before I realized you'd make a more interesting bearer of my not-quite-holy staff than this waste of flesh. Let's be honest here. I don't always think my decisions through. But you, you're going places. Maybe a little influence from your old Uncle Sanguine could help adjust your course a bit. My pleasure, but I think it's time for you to go. No fun keeping you locked up in here with the staff. <laughs>